Okay, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, today we're going to look at some of the powerful 3D rendering tools in Moho. As you saw in the intro, the goal of this demo is to make text that has some depth and rotates in three dimensions. We're using Moho Pro version 13.0. Okay, so starting with a new document with a neutral gray background, we're gonna create a new vector layer. And we do uh, control T to bring up the text dialog box. And let's just make this a 3D text animation. Uh, now we want Moho to treat these letters as shapes rather than as text. So uncheck the create text layer. And we also want each layer, uh, each shape on its own layer. So uh, uncheck the create one shape tick box. Make sure that's unchecked. And then click uh, OK. And great. So now we have each letter as a shape and they are editable just like any other shape. Now to separate each shape into its own layer, uh, there's an easy way to, to do that. There's a, a script that's built in uh, to Moho. So go to the scripts menu and layer effects and select RT break apart shapes. And tick the radio button to place each shape uh, on its own layer. And we click OK. And there we go. Now we have uh, each letter shape is on its own layer. And eventually we'll want to rotate each letter shape on its Y axis. Uh, so the next step is to use the origin tool to place the center of the layer over the center of each letter. Uh, so just place it more or less right over the center and do that for each, uh, each of these letter shapes. And we can speed this up to make this a, a faster process. There we go. Okay, so now we have the center of each layer over the center of each letter shape. And now what we want to do is to add depth to each layer using the 3D tool called the Extrude tool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select all the layers with the letter shape. And go to the layer setting under the 3D tab and select Extrude. And uncheck the Silhouettes, Materials, and Creases checkbox. And we want to um, also, let's give it an extruded side color. So uh, let's just pick kind of a, a brown color. The, the letters themselves are gold. So something, yeah, something a little darker than that uh, should, look, should look about right. And we click Apply and OK. And OK, so now we see we've added some depth uh, to each letter. Uh, now, Let's uh, check the 3D rendering using the Orbit tool real quick, um, just to see what that looks like. So we can rotate around, zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks good. So we can see that we've added some, some depth to each letter. And go ahead and uh, click the Reset view to get back to where we were. Now I'd like these letters to be a little bit thinner. Use the Transform layer tool and set the scale Z to 0 0.4. Yeah, that looks good. So that's a little bit thinner uh, than it was before. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some animation. So we'll uh, go to frame 48 and select the group layer. And use the Rotate XY tool and set the Y rotation to 360. And if we go ahead and scrub through this animation, you can see that this rotates the whole line of text. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. And you can see you get that, uh, that kind of 3D effect. Now, if you want to rotate each letter, each layer has to be rotated independently. So we'll go back down, we'll delete that keyframe at uh, 48. Um, and we'll need to go through each letter and rotate each, each layer independently. So layer zero, that gets uh, 
checked the XY rotation to 360. And again, we can just speed through this uh, layer by layer to get this done. Yeah, okay. So now each letter should rotate independently. And if we uh, go through this on its own, yes, we see that each letter is now rotating. So that's what we want. Now, if, if we want to take this to the next step and rotate them sequentially, like a wave of rotation going down the line, you have to change the starting time of the animation for each layer. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is to use the sequencer. So we bring up the sequencer right next to the channels tab and we can displace each one by about points, uh, about six frames. Let's just move that in um, about a quarter of a, a second. So you want to skip the, the zero layer zero and then just displace the starting time of each layer one by one by six frames. So we're just moving this in, uh, delaying the start time of the animation for each layer by the same amount. And be sure to scroll up and, and change all the layers. Good. Okay. So let's adjust the... Um, animation to 144 frames. And let's just quick check what this looks like. So, yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. So, um, you know, maybe this is something you could use in a, a credits or a title slide or something like that. You could even consider uh, having the letters change as they're rotating. So like in the intro animation, there was some tumbling letters. So let's add some physics. Uh, first, we'll need some kind of um, stationary layer. So create a, a new vector layer, put it in the same group. Um, and we'll just make this some, let's change the color to, uh, to blue. And we'll add this rectangle right under the letters. Good. So the letters have to have something to, to knock against or else they'll just fall straight to the floor. And we don't want that. Okay, so in this group layer, let's go ahead and enable physics. And let's reduce the gravity down to about one or so, a little less than one. Okay. And then we want to check that that blue rectangle and make sure that's a, a non-moving layer. Yeah, so just check that, yeah, non-moving object. Let's start this asleep. So we want this to not move from uh, the beginning of the animation. We want it to start somewhere in. So we'll go ahead and say start asleep. Apply, okay, good. And let's uh, start the physics at frame 144. That'll be after all the letters have, have rotated through once. And change the, the ending to uh, two, 312. So now we need something to trigger the action. And let's take the leftmost letter the, the, the three, uh, and have it ram into the other letters. So at frame 144, with that layer zero highlighted, we'll go under the animation menu and select nudge physics object. And we can keep these settings about right. So this will move that letter three uh, from uh, the left to the right and just knock into all the other letters, thus triggering them uh, to tumble down. So let's see, let's see what this looks like. Um, Click play. Yeah, it's interesting that after adding the physics, the animation speeds up a bit, but the speed is normal when it's finally rendered. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You can have a character uh, kick the letters or throw something at it uh, to trigger the action. 
Okay, well, very simple animation, demo of creating 3D text in Moho. I hope you found this video useful uh, and can use some of this in an upcoming project. Uh, thanks a lot for joining today, and I will see you later.